put some money on the table. Another three K. Low offer, please. I think there's a value on all of these offers, to be honest with you. Minus £2,000. High offer, please. What sort of thrill seeker are you? £79,000. Turn to face the team, have a chat. OK, Chloe? £79,000 is so tempting. Big money. I I'd go for three, but whatever you want to do. Tim? Three, I would say, yeah. I mean, it's a lot easier with the answers in front of you. Thank you. Minus two, three, seventy-nine. Hussein, what's it going to be? Um, so I'm definitely not the minus two, and I'm... I think I'm going to go for the seventy-nine. You're... Ca <laughs> thousand. <laughs> seventy-nine it is. Chase up. This is going to be even more thrilling than seeing sharks. <laughs> yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you. Up the gunners. <laughs> right, you ready? <laughs> Good for you. The same for 79 grand. The chase is on. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Here comes your first question. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> this is brilliant. Which snooker player defeated the South African left-hander Perry Manns to win his sixth world title? A. Stephen Hendry. B. Ronnie O'Sullivan. C. Ray Reardon. You've put Ronnie O'Sullivan, the rocket. <laughs> Correct answer is... It's Ray Reardon, staying where you are, Chaser's put. Yeah, I didn't know, but I'd have said that. Otherwise, why is Ray Reardon up there? Well, because Perry Marnes reached his only final, I think, in 1978. Yeah. Uh, up against the maestro, the former policeman from Wales, Ray Reardon. Known as? A Dracula, because yeah. of his rather vampirish looks. Yeah. Uh, and that was his sixth world title at uh, the Crucible. Here you go. Chase is one behind. Here's next question. A famous dictum popularised by the architect Mies van der Rohe was God is in the what? A. Details. B. Theory. C. Attic. You've put... Details. I think I've read that somewhere recently. Correct answer is... Well played. Step close to home. Chase has put... Goes details. Funny, cos it's the same devil's in the detail, isn't it? There is that as well, yeah. One of the most influential architects of the 20th century of the Bauhaus movement. Here's the next question. Thank you for that. What was the name of the American half of the pop duo Shakespeare's sister? A. Marcella Dallas, B, Marcella Denver, or C, Marcella Detroit? You've put Marcella Detroit. No idea, unfortunately. Correct answer is... It's a great answer, that. That is a great guess. Oh, I don't know where that come from. That's an inspired guess. Well played. Step close to home. Chase has put... Yeah, Marcella Detroit. It was with the, the former Banana Rama singer Siobhan, Siobhan. Fai. Yeah. So, had a massive number one with the song Stay. Great. Uh, and they also had a big hit with Your History. Yeah. Here's the next question. In appearance, the warble fly looks like what other insect? A, B, B, earwig, or C, moth? You've put, here we go, this is crucial. You've put A, B. A, B, yeah. So which one? A? A. B? B. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> Correct answer is, it's got to be right to stay in the game. Chase is going to know this. Oh, brilliant step close to home. Chase has put. Also goes B. I didn't know it, so I'm, Guess? I'm not. Yeah, absolutely. All oh, right, OK. Oh, the word warble. I just thought, well, what, what, which one of these makes a sound? That's what uh, I had to go for. Here's the next question with three from home. Chase is still breathing down her neck. When in flight, ski jumpers hold their skis in a position that resembles what letter of the alphabet? A, D, B, V, C, X. You have put... V. Yeah, kind of like aer aerodynamic, the V shape. <laughs> Correct answer is... Well played, step close home, Chase has put... Yeah, it goes right with V. I mean, if you can make a D while you're ski jumping, you deserve the gold medal, that's all I can say. <laughs> One ski jump, that's all I've had. Can't tell you how painful that was. <laughs> <laughs> on a, just on a small junior jump. <laughs> I can't tell you how painful that was. You could just landed. stick to presenting game shows. It's a lot safer, perhaps. Well, I landed and then... 
my legs ended up in a really wide V. <laughs> It was terrible. It was A and E. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Here's the next question. Who launched her Arga Workshops cookery school in the 90s? A, Delia Smith. B, Mary Berry. C, Nigella Lawson. Who was it? Well, we know which one it isn't. You've put... You'd have thought, wouldn't you? I'm guessing it's not. <laughs> No, no, no. Well, you, you can't be, Nile, you no, can't be Nigella, yeah. right? So yeah. you'd have thought it's Mary Berry, the, the elder stateswoman yeah. of the cookery school. You'd have thought, wouldn't you? Back in the day. Delia Smith. Can't rule Delia out, can you? You know what I mean? OK, here we go. Correct answer is... Oh, so great answer. Step close to home, Hussein. Chase has put. It's a great answer. <laughs> Goes wrong with Delia Smith, we spread the game with £79,000 hanging in the balance. We're now two ahead and one from home. Chaser. Nah, I've got nothing to say. I'm got so nothing, so he has annoying. nothing. <laughs> well, he's on the back foot. Let's crack on. Here's your next question. We've got two chances of getting through with £79,000. Here's your first. I wish you luck. I wish I needed to come. And here comes the question. <laughs> Who was the only character to appear in every episode of the sitcom Last of the Summer Wine? A. Clegg. B, Compo. C, Nora Batty. <laughs> Bang. I'm only in. Do you want me to answer it for you? Yes, please. You've put... Clegg. Guess. Total guess. You know it? Oh, I know it. I know it with my eyes shut. Watch. I know it. <laughs> to go through with £79,000, the correct answer is... Yes! Brilliant. OK, Hussein, I don't know what to say, mate. Not do I. <laughs> <laughs> I? I really don't know. I, I, you're an absolute hero. You truly are. That was a brilliant performance. Uh, some inspired guessing, but I've got to say, nonetheless, you, my mate, are through. Well played, Hussein. Thank you very Terrific much. job.